How did I survive electrical engineering? Double E is a major where most people don't make it to the finish line. If you're currently enrolled or if you're also an engineer, then you know this and you've seen it firsthand. A lot of your peers and your friends drop out. I've been thinking about this a lot lately and you'll hear people talk about grit and habits and all these things and that is very true you do have to have a lot of good habits good study habits you have to be able to get through your exams be able to learn very well understand concepts more importantly i do believe that having a self-belief and an identity of you becoming an engineer is the key so in my experience there was just no way that i could fail not that it was i was determined to pass it's just that my parents, being Eastern European from ex-Yugoslavia, were both engineers. And there was no way in hell that I was ever going to not be one and not pass and not make it through. Now, some of that is toxic and I do think that it's lost in how we're raising our kids today. I'm now a father of two young boys. Being a millennial myself, my parents raised me quite differently and also they were not from America. so. Now we're a lot softer with each other in that, oh, well, you know, you can do and be anything you want. Well, that's true. My parents sort of had this idea for me and it would have been very, very difficult for me to not be an engineer. Toxic, maybe, but it did instill in me this thought that I am gonna become an engineer no matter what. I remember being in freshman year and the class is getting more and more difficult and thinking, oh man, you know, I guess this is what it's gonna be because in my mind, I was already an engineer. Kind of, I, I had to do it. I had to accomplish this thing. And I was thinking that actually helped me out a lot. With your parents, sometimes your relationship isn't the best. I'm no different. With my parents, it goes up and down uh, and they have very different opinions than I do. Like I said, we come from slightly different cultural backgrounds. You're always gonna get into it with your parents and people that have been there to guide you. But I have to say, I'm really thankful that they kind of pushed me down this path. I was inclined to do it anyway. I'm just thinking, let's say that I had different parents. Would I have become an engineer? Possibly, I still did enjoy everything I was doing, but they basically made me believe that there was no way I was gonna fail, right? Because A, I don't wanna feel their wrath and repercussions and judgment, but B, just that I was intelligent and hardworking enough to actually do it. They put these thoughts in my head of which I'm forever thankful. While you may not have Eastern European parents from the Balkans or heck even, I know a lot of Asian parents are like that too, seeing my friends go through some of that. It doesn't mean that you can't have the same mentality. Just because people are not expecting much of you doesn't mean you shouldn't expect much of yourself, all right? You can find mentors. You can find mentors in your peers. You can find mentors at school. You can find mentors online. Heck, I can be your Eastern European parent that knows that you're gonna make it, right? I'm, I'm gonna push you to do it. So there's some motivation that you can just kind of start to internalize, but you do have to have this sort of self-belief because if you actually believe that you will be an engineer, then you will start to take action towards that. You will start to study more. You will start to feel that the juice is worth the squeeze. You'll start to pay attention more. You'll start to, to network more, meet more friends, go to industry events, go to career fairs. You'll start to embody this idea of, I am now an engineer. And I've experienced this a few different times in my life, by the way. So I remember in high school, I was never very good at English. And I guess that's typical for a lot of engineers, but I just decided that, you know what? No, this is nonsense. I speak English well enough. You know, it was a second language for me when I was growing up, but I, I learned it, you know, quite well. And I had an English teacher in high school that sort of believed in me. And I said, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna try to do my best on this one paper. And actually she recognized me and I ended up being part of the principal's list or whatever it was that, that semester. So I kind of decided then it's like, you know what? I, I am good at English just because it's not my first language doesn't mean that I can't write well enough. And in fact, I, my goal was to kind of surpass my classmates, native born English speakers. So you kind of want to have a little challenge. There's a, uh, if you've seen the Michael Jordan documentary, The Last Dance, right? He comes off as a bit of a psychopath, which in hindsight though, if you're going to be that kind of winner, which he is the winningest winner of winning, <laughs> whoever won, whatever, you know, you kind of have to have this crazy mind of, no, I'm, t you know, the, the meme there is, you know, he took everything personally, everything was offensive to him. He would make up crazy ideas that people were talking about him thinking he wasn't good enough or just talking smack and then he would just destroy them in the game you need a little bit of that kind of killer instinct and to where you know you know i am good enough i'm gonna make it through and 
you just have to believe in yourself and you start to internalize that. A big one for me was, as mentioned, my parents, right? I wanted to prove to them that, no, I can do this. I'm doing electrical. It's freaking hard. I can do it. I'm going to succeed. And not just to kind of prove them wrong, but at the end of the day, though, I did it for myself, right? I'm doing it for me. And the life that I live now with my amazing wife and kids and everything, too, is directly attributed to kind of having this mentality a little bit that got me through all of this, right? So it is a gauntlet. It's not easy. However, if you believe in yourself and if you are committed enough for the long term, right, it's not going to happen in a single day. It'll take a couple years. Even after you start working, it's going to be a while before you start making great money and before you start to enter those roles that that give you more respect and prestige and all these things. It, it, it's going to take time. It's a big investment. If you can do it, though, the juice is definitely worth the squeeze. So you have to have a bit of this kind of survivor mindset, right? Just knowing that it's going to be a, a, a task, it's going to be hard because then when you have a strong enough why, that's what's going to get you through the difficult classes and the difficult labs and exams and everything too. Even when you fail, you can have a strong enough why and then that'll drive you to study harder to actually succeed and pass it, right? You need to have a very strong reason why you're doing this. So now we live in a day and age, especially here in America and in the West, to where everything's so cushy. As I mentioned, I'm even seeing it now the way that I'm raising my kids, I'm trying not to, but how do you have hunger when you've always been well fed, right? How can you be hungry when you've always been well fed? So you have to kind of trick your mind or some days do the whole stoic thing and you know, not eat well or fast all day. You know, start to kind of do, take cold showers, right? There's all the studies about all these different things. Okay, of which I've, I've tried all these different things too, by the way, I still do some of them. I think it does help, right? It puts you in an uncomfortable environment so that it drives you to want to get out of the environment and then you start to deeply understand what you have to do to get out of this environment right and then not to mention at the very end there's a nice uh, study done about dopamine and all this stuff too right so we crave instant gratification but if we sort of hold off on that go through a struggle then the reward at the very end is so much sweeter and certainly you going through school and everything is that reward at the end of the that light at the end of the tunnel so once you finish make sure you celebrate if you're currently an engineer i invite you to share some of your stories about what got you through if you're currently in double e right now and you're struggling just hang in there you can make it through do it for yourself prove yourself wrong right prove your weak self wrong okay because the person that is going to take to get through this is waiting at the end of that degree that's the person you have to become in order to make it through right now that's why it's a struggle you're basically like uh, I don't know a snake losing that layer of skin and getting bigger right or that's a bad example or a caterpillar morphing into a butterfly okay so in order to become the butterfly you've got to go through this gauntlet right and survive so have that mentality share your thoughts below see you in the next one